Previously on Outdoor Canuck. So we're here. We're here at Sawbone Falls Provincial Park. Oh, oh, you oh. lost yours before mine. Sorry, you're supposed to turn it. I drink wine. You're supposed to turn it. The girls are trying to suntan here, but with blankets. So this is a weekend where we have all our dogs. That kid that just caught a fish and I got it on film, I just sent it to him. I just airdropped it on iPhone. Campfire cinnamon buns. Whoa! And it just... It popped! Okay, so this is the test. This is, we're going to test to see what the solar panel's like. <laughs> I've had wine. Watch it. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. We are in Mennonite country. Julie and I were just... We're about an hour into our drive and we were just um, remarking that a lot of Mennonites are here. It's really cool to see the horses and the little buggies and the men and women inside there, all dressed to the, look like they're going to church or something. Yeah, looking but, very simply. <laughs> yeah, which is pretty cool. We're in a small little town called Cross Hill. And the only reason I know that is because it says Cross Hill. It's, and so <laughs> we're recording as we're passing by it. Um, we are going to, I want to say Godrich, I want to say King Cardin. These are two small towns in Ontario that are on Lake Huron. And neither of them are right because... Stop sign, turn right into Hutchison Road. Neither of them are right because what we're doing is we're going somewhere in the middle. It's like right dead in the center. It's a private park. We've never been there before. I know the last video I said, uh, when I left you guys on the last video when we were at Sobo, I said, uh, the next camping trip, which is this one, we are going to a new place and it's a uh, not a provincial park It's nowhere we've ever been before and it's called Mackenzie's tent and trailer campground I think I got the name right there Mackenzie's tent and trailer campground private park never been We stopped at Wendy's in Listwell for dinner. It's the slowest Wendy's ever. Really, literally, it's the slowest. It's brand new, but it's slow. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that Wendy's was, uh, it's brand new, but it was really, really, really slow. So back on the We wanted to try somewhere different, and uh, we didn't want to go to a provincial park. Plus, it's the Canada Day long weekend. Plus, it's a can sorry. I'm trying to talk to you guys as to uh, navigation's going. It's a long weekend. It's a Canada Day long weekend. It's the official long weekend, uh, like the quintessential summer long weekend here in Canada. It's Canada's birthday. the camera picks it up but there was like a cloud of bugs we were just driving into and through and you can hear them ticking on the car as they hit the car it's the office right there isn't it okay we're here but we're not sure where here really is there's an office oh coming really close to that tree there am i not uh you're very close for you not watching yeah i'm watching but i'm trying to stay out of the way of this guy okay we're here. We have to find an office and check it. You can never depend on the weather. This is Mackenzie's tent and trailer campground. There's not anything wrong with it. That isn't our cottage. He's a little bit crazy. Got her feet on the 
ground. I can't get enough of her. She can drive me so wild. Okay, and just like that, we're all set up and we are here. It's a nice little cozy tiny site, but uh trailer fits in here perfectly. And as you can see, we're all set up and ready to, to go. We got our buddies. Uh Jay and Jen and the kids, they're right next to us there. And then our other camping buddies, Darren and Tammy, they're going to be on the other side. Uh, so it's, we have three of three of us in a row, Jay and Jen being in the middle. And yeah, we have uh, two out of three services here. We have uh, water hookup and uh, electricity. And we don't have uh, sewage. So there is a dump station so we can get... Uh, we can dump out at the end of the weekend, but two out of three ain't bad, as they say. So when we're camping, we spare no uh, energy or any expense when it comes to eating good breakfast. So nice breakfast, even though it's raining outside. So today's a bit better day. It's um, when I say bit bit better, a bit better than what we expected. It was supposed to rain all day, and right now it's just after breakfast. And as you can see, rain's finished. It's still wet out and everything, but there's no rain. It's nice and warm. This is why you can never depend and, you know, plan for the rain and the weather because sometimes it never actually rains like it says it's going to. So it's good to know. Like we said before, this is Mackenzie's tent and trailer campground. Now, this has been in the family, sort of in the family. I was talking to the, uh, the people that run it, that own it. It's a family-run fair, it's, so it's not like um, some of these big, big resorts where uh, it's so big, it's almost like a corporate thing where you know there's like staff and everything. It's just Cindy and her husband that do it on their own, and uh, they do everything. And about half of these sites, are permanent like seasonal people and then the rest are like transient like us that come up for the weekend and the long weekends and everything so they've got a nice balance they're very strict about the rules uh, they've got some rules that they follow which every every trailer park has rules and uh, the rules here are very normal rules they're not uh, extra strict or anything like that they're, they're nice rules uh, uh, that you know make the enjoyability is that a word enjoyability the enjoyment uh, of all the people that are here you know good now now don't let us fool you i know we're not wearing beach attire necessarily for the beach but we're just going out and check it out if the weather gets better like the blue skies that were coming out there if uh, it stays blue skies we're gonna go ahead change and we're gonna come down to the beach right yep have a nice little beach day maybe tomorrow uh tomorrow's gonna be 15 degrees <laughs> A little wind. This is Lake Huron. The water's probably pretty decent. It's not cold. Huron is usually very cold, even in late July and August after a full hot summer. Lake Huron could be an ice bucket. Uh, it's not today. It's uh, probably with, with the breeze and the wind because it is uh, pretty wavy. It's not rough, it's just wavy. Uh, with kids, small kids, you might want to be careful, but if the blue sky stay the way it is, right now it's about 22 degrees. It'll uh, turn out to be a good beach day. We just got to go get our beach stuff, get the other guys, and uh, we'll come down here and have a, a nice, fun beach day. Um, it's a little windy down there, but if you come up here, a little out of the way, uh, out of the wind, um, it's not bad at all. So here's the thing. I want to sit down on this, but I've seen way too many times rock um, netting like this in the past, especially in a sun like this, 
has snakes snakes crawl in there and it's a good shelter from predators and stuff like that um, but they can come out when they want and then retreat as quickly as they want and it's sort of protected and I've seen uh, especially along here on here where there are snakes that hide in here so I'm a little apprehensive to sit down on this right now before I thoroughly look it over to make sure I don't see any but the problem is they camouflage so well it's hard to, to tell that it's actually a snake maybe I'm just being paranoid okay here's the thing if I didn't tell you and you didn't see that that I'm wearing shorts but I'm not in like beach attire and you just looked behind me and you saw the turquoise water and the blue skies could you think that this is actually like a tropical beach a tropical ocean behind me you think so eh? it's very deceiving I've never seen here on this turquoise bluish in a, in a long time if, if ever actually I have to admit no I've never seen it so we're just saying that looking at it with just the naked eye and not knowing you think we're down south in like a Mexican beach or a Jamaican beach but this is Lake Huron. He does not want to leave the beach. This is funny. He does not want to, he wants to go back in the water. He was running on, in, or he was swimming in the water for about 15 minutes. And when he first came down, before he went in the water, he was beelining and she was, he was pulling her. Wow. <laughs> Believe it or not, it is a couple hours later since we last spoke, and as you can see, the blue skies have sort of gone away, and it's uh, given away to some overcast clouds. Still nice, though, still still warm, even without the blue cloud on the, the blue skies. Uh, the sun's still here, and it's still still warm. It's a nice breeze. It's humid. It's humid down here. It's probably like 28 degrees with the humidity. Uh, probably 24 without the humidity, and. Um, We've got the beach all to ourselves. As you can see, there's no one else here. I just took a walk uh, down here. We're all the way, you can't even see, we're all the way by where that big tall tree is sticking up. That's where we are there. And uh, just took a nice walk down here. And as you can see, there's no one here. And if we turn around, that's just Quentin coming back there and then there's one person there. But basically, basically we're by ourselves and we got the beach to ourselves. Pretty good. another good thing about this place is where it's situated it is situated right in between like dead smack in the middle if you wanted to go to the west to Godridge it's the same 20 minute drive yeah how rude the battery died so what I was saying is this campground is directly in the middle of Godridge to the west and Kincardine to the east so 20 minutes either way so 20 minute drive you're in wherever whatever small town you let me try this for the third time basically we're in the middle of two towns Godridge and King Carden battery's gonna die any minute now so I don't know why it's dying it says 42 percent this is why I say and if you've watched my videos before this is why I say over and over you can never depend on the weather network or or the forecast in terms of planning your trip you just got to go ahead and plan your trip obviously plan in case it rains like be prepared and stuff like that or if it has bad weather but don't cancel things because of potential bad weather unless you know obviously if it's like tornadoes and stuff like that but it was supposed to rain all day and, and you saw us down at the beach earlier and it rained in the morning and I think by 10 o'clock 9 30 10 o'clock it was the rain had stopped and it was cloudy but then it got it cleared up and it got some sun and stuff like that but then later in the day it clouded over but it didn't rain and then there was a tornado watch. Apparently there was supposed to be a tornado. I want to show you back there. Look at this guy. I don't know if you can see behind me. Does that look like a tornado? There's a there's a beautiful sunset right behind me about to start probably in another hour or so. It's beautiful up here and the weather's amazing. So just, you know, I don't want to harp on it, but I just want to remind you like don't always count on the weather what they say and take it at full face value plan your day you know 
bring stuff accordingly in case it does rain and stuff like that, rain gear, whatever. Uh, but still, go and do what you got to do because you can never depend, and you never. You can never count on the weather being exactly how they say it's going to be. So this is the dump station. You have to back up, um, back up from from this road right here. Just back up all the way, and this is the dump station right here. It is. A, it does have a threaded line, and uh, if you want to fill up your fresh tank, if you don't have um, a water hookup site, then right there too is a uh, hookup there for your potable water to fill up. And uh, there's your dump station right there for sewage. Some of these sites are beautiful seasonal sites. Nice fire pit there. Uh, they all have their own golf carts and stuff like that if you want to bring it up. And uh, yeah, they're nice sites here. Very secluded. Um, you've got quite a bit of privacy. And these sites back here are, I believe, are non electrical. Mostly these are campers or tenters camped out here. I'm pretty sure these are non-electric and they go all along the other perimeter, the outer perimeter of the campgrounds right here. The washrooms here are really old and rustic, but they're really super clean and they smell so nice. It doesn't smell like a toilet. Nope. It doesn't, it doesn't smell, smell like a toilet at all. And usually with old washrooms, you get like very, they get very smelly. Yeah. These smell like flowers. What is it? It's a rinse off station. Okay, so I'm going to test out uh, Julie's theory and see... Oh, oh, it does smell good. It smells like roses. Like literally. And very clean. Wow. I'm actually impressed, yeah. yeah. No, it does smell... I, I, I know you can't smell uh, what I'm smelling, but take my word for it. It smells good. Yeah, no, it's good. Got a lot of places for the kids to... Uh, Play, some couple, couple playgrounds, a few playgrounds, uh, basketball nets. Oh uh, yeah, it's got quite a lot of things for families. Oh, the dingle game. Shuffleboard. Basketball net there. bingo going on back there. I don't want to disturb the bingo game. Bingo. So, this is what happens when you come camping and you don't have a dog stake. Dog leash. Here's a try on. So one of the best things that I got for a uh, gift was these fire gloves. They're basically welding gloves or gloves that you use for fireplaces, indoor fireplaces. But you don't need a fire stick or anything. You just use one of these and you can turn all the wood at the campfire just with your bare hands. Even though it's not your bare hands, it's actually this. Works great. Cheers. 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 I don't know if these uh, bugs are coming up on camera. Is the camera's picking them up other than that big sucker right there. But this is what the bug situation was when we were driving in <laughs> earlier yesterday. Look at them all. Actually, it's the best spot. Right here? Yeah. Look at it. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Anything wrong with it? That is a narcotic. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a beautiful setting? Oh my. Just talk to those uh, folks there. They agree. Lake here on sunsets, you just can't beat them. They're the best. 
Okay, a little quick little product review for you guys. I don't know if you can see there. It looks like a flashlight, but it isn't. It looks like a little taser from the little things up here, but it isn't, trust me. Uh, it is a lighter. Yes, a butane lighter, uh, and I saw it online, and I had to pick it up because it shows that it uh, lights campfires. So let me just show it to you. Uh, turn it on, and here you can see you see the flame. It's easily a four or five inch flame. It takes butane. You can turn it down and just be a normal person, turn it down like that, and it's just like that, but you can turn it up. That's what it's made for. It looks like a lightsaber. It's so cool. But it lights uh, campfires very, very easily. Let me turn the light off and show you how it looks in the dark. It looks really cool in the dark. Okay, it's dark out now. You do it, and that's it. And you fill it up with butane, and it lasts a long time. And uh, I haven't had to fill it up with butane since, but you just get one of those butane cans, and you put it in, right in the bottom, and it fills it up and refills it. And it lights campfires really, really, really quickly. It's a plasma torch or a light saber. Pretty cool. Okay might be a little bright but um it's 11 o'clock at night and apparently we're supposed to be able to see the northern lights if we look into the north and if the sky is clear the sky is pretty clear tonight so we're gonna go and take a look and see if, what we can see no promises we'll be able to see anything and um <laughs> we'll see what we can see Another great little town here on Lake Huron is Kincardine. And at Kin Kincardine here, there is a famous lighthouse. Oh, I'm making that part up. I don't know if it's famous or not, but it's a nice little lighthouse. We're gonna take a look. It is the long weekend, the Canada Day long weekend. It is summer and it's about 10 degrees and 50 kilometer hour winds. And let me show you, let me show you how windy it is. Is this considered gale force winds? I think this is a gale force today, yeah, the official gale force. Uh, CNN uh, hurricane <laughs> report. I'm out here on the pier! I don't even know if you can hear us with the wind, but if you can, it's uh, pretty darn windy, as you can tell. <laughs> the sea was angry that day, my friends. <laughs> like an old man trying to send back soup in a deli. Whoa! So this is the famous lighthouse here in Kincardine we're going to go to. Like I said, I keep saying famous, I don't even know if it's famous. Wrong? The lighthouse is closed for the season. Say what though? The lighthouse is closed for the season. Did nobody bother to look into this before we came? We had a nice walk. Okay, so here's the deal. The uh, famous lighthouse, I keep saying famous because now it's, well, it's famous now because it's closed for the season, so it makes it famous. We didn't come to go inside to it. No? Okay, then I got all the shots we need. So what are we doing now? Enter once. Going to the liquor store and then going to get ice cream. Can't no, we're just going to the liquor store. <laughs> okay, we're, we're going to go get ice cream. That's, that's wholesome. You ass. <laughs> Okay. 
Jay, how are your hot dogs? It's good. Um, it's not as bad as everyone thought. They're a little black. And licorice. What? It's done. Is that the shadow or is that the dog? Licorice. <laughs> licorice. So, uh, that's about it. That's about it for us, folks. Uh, this was a nice, nice little park. It's, um, like I said, seasonal. It's got some permanent people here that are here seasonal from May to the end of October, I think it is. And then they've got quite a bit of um, rental sites, like transient sites that you can rent for the week or the weekend, like we did for the long weekend. It's very nice here. I, I would highly recommend it. I'll put a link for their website down in the description below. Cindy and Harmon, they're the people that get hold of. They're the ones that run this. And just the two of them run it from what I can see. And they're working hard all the time. Anytime you see them around the grounds, they're always doing something, always working. Whenever you need ice, you need firewood, just go to the office, ring the bell, and they're there within like seconds. It's like, it's like they're waiting on our, our beck and call. So very, very good. Highly recommend. I think uh, Google had good reviews on it too, which is neither here or there. But if it is uh, good reviews, you can see why. Because, um, you know, uh, it was fun here. It's a nice, clean park, immaculately clean and well organized. Anyways, Happy Canada Day. Uh, you're probably watching this a month after Canada Day, but either way, it's Canada Day today for us, uh, July 1st. And wherever you are and whatever, uh, whenever you celebrate your country's birthday, happy country's birthday, whatever. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, okay, great. Stop. Stop for a second. Before we finish off our ending, we, you got my take on, on the park, but uh, Julie, What's your take on the park that we were just at the private park? I love that park. Yeah. Okay, that's it. No, I'm just kidding. That's it. That's quite simple, know, short. Just, when you go to a park, it's a feeling you get. You feel like when I entered that park, it's quiet, it's peaceful, it's it, there's a lot of uh, trees and privacy. You're not too congested. Um, no making crazy noise definitely not on top of each other not on top of each other yeah you had space and it felt i don't know like you were still in the woods in in nature and that's what you want when you go camping in my opinion and the amenities yeah. were great like the washrooms and showers were super clean and oh yeah everybody there was friendly and your walking distance to the beach which is very important and the beach is very nice there as well oh yeah we were just pulling out there and we're leaving now and we're looking at the water crystal blue clear. turquoise water it looks i don't know if that's just i can't remember huron looking like that in a long time or if yeah. ever has it oh the problem with huron it just takes too long to warm up yeah quinton i gotta try to get your attention did you have a good weekend yeah you like the park yeah it's pretty nice yeah okay 12 year olds perspective okay and if we put this in you wanted to add something to the uh, bread, dough, baking, campfire thing with your bubble? I don't want to put it in. Okay. You said you wanted to add something. If you were to put it in. Okay. Well, do you? Um, you just you don't you just don't want it in. I don't want it in. Okay. Next trip. Okay. I've, I have figured out the system. And next trip, I can show you. Okay. We. <laughs> filmed the whole segment and not, not to tease you we filmed the whole segment on um, campfire food and uh, it didn't work out as good she thought it failed it just didn't fail in my opinion it just didn't work out as good but we recovered and there was flying dough but she doesn't want to put it in so we'll show you the outtakes maybe <laughs> here is Julie kneading bread <laughs> what's left is on her fingers <laughs> no what's left is on my leg <laughs> oh wow Dax, oh. what happens when you make fun of a uh, of a camping a, hack? Having spousal moments today. Hat. Julie, you hack. pushed me in my limits. Do you see, me? Julie got angry yeah. because she's trying to make bread and Dax was beaking her. <laughs> so the <laughs> bread went me. flying. <laughs> show, 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 let's show me the motion again, Vampire Julie. Drama. <laughs> show, it was it was like that, and the bread went. Here, wait, 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 wait. I can't get this off now. Um, I don't know. Is that, that, that was on your groin, though. <laughs> no. Oh, you can clean it off. And then uh, when we, we'll regroup on the next trip, our nine-day trip, and uh, we'll show it to you then. Speaking of the nine-day trip, the 
nine day trip. I keep saying 10, but it's nine. It could be 10, but right now it's nine. And I think I'll stay, say nine. Nine day trip is the next one coming up. I got some preparation videos coming up for that before we go. But until then, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.